Hello, thank you for choosing Omron's Autonomous Mobile Robots, or AMRs, to support your material transportation needs. The Mobile I.O. Box is a wireless device that can be used to summon an AMR to a specific location by just pressing a button. It can also be used as an external digital I.O. for the control of connected devices that are associated with AMR-related actions, like opening a door for an AMR to pass through or turning on a signal to tell the AMR has arrived. A single mobile I.O. box can perform these functions simultaneously. We have prepared a video to help you set up this device and to introduce you to the features of the I.O. box. Step 1. Unboxing and Setup The items inside the package will be the following. The mobile I.O. box, four rubber feet, two antennas, and one I.O. connector. The power supply has a separate part number and it will come in a separate box. The mobile I.O. box can be placed on a horizontal flat surface without fixation. Mount the four rubber feet by pressing them inside the holes at the back side of the mobile I.O. box. If mounting on a wall, fasten the mobile I.O. box directly to the mounting surface using M4 or number 8 screws. Screws are not included in the package. Make all necessary wire connections to the I.O. connector and then insert the connector into the I.O. box. Connect the power connector and insert the barrel connector. Plug in the I.O. connector. The mobile I.O. box is now connected and ready for configuration. Step 2. Install the software. The configuration for the mobile I.O. box consists of several steps. First, ensure the required software is installed and active. The mobile I.O. box will communicate using SetNetGo, which is the operating system available on the Fleet Manager and the AMR. In SetNet Go, the software package Mobile I.O. must be installed to use a Mobile I.O. box. Check if SetNet Go is configured for the Mobile I.O. box by opening SetNet Go, selecting the tab Software, and checking the left column for Manage Installed Software. If Mobile I.O. is not visible in the list of installed software, check that FlowCore 3.1 or higher is installed. Flowcore software with versions below 3.1 does not have the Mobile I.O. software package available. Check that the Mobile I.O. package is enabled and running. It can be enabled and restarted as shown. When the Mobile I.O. application is running in SetNet Go, it will be ready to connect to the Mobile I.O. box. Here, the mobile I.O. application is confirmed to be enabled and running. Step 3. Configure the mobile I.O. box. Enable communication between the mobile I.O. box and the host by navigating to the Setup menu and selecting Network Setup. In the Network Setup menu, you can configure the host IP address as well as the network settings of the mobile I.O. box itself. The host could be the fleet manager or an AMR. To enable and configure the Wi-Fi for the mobile I.O. box, enable the web server in the network setup menu. When enabled, the screen will display an IP address, which you can open in a browser to access the Wi-Fi settings. Step 4. Configure the call function. In Mobile Planner, open the host's configuration tab. Navigate to the Mobile I.O. menu. Drag the device icon from the right column to the left to enable it. Select Mobile I.O. Devices and find the device by matching the six-digit identifier. Populate the Goal Name field with the desired map goal. Step 5. Configure the external digital outputs. From the Hosts Configuration tab, select the External Digital Outputs menu. The outputs are numbered 1 through 6, each with a six-digit prefix matching the mobile I.O. box's identifier. Set Output Type to Door for use with doors 
and also set output type to custom to enable reading and writing the outputs via Mobile Planner. Assign an alias to each output to make it easier to associate the output with other functions. This screen shows that output 1 is enabled. Drag the other output icons to the left-hand column to enable them. The process of enabling the mobile I.O. box inputs is analogous to enabling the outputs. Step 6. Enable the door functionality. In the Host Configuration tab, enable door functionality in the Map Features menu. In the Map tab, select Draw, Advanced Areas, Door, and add the associated goals and the alias for the digital output. In this video, we have set up a single mobile I.O. box to perform both the call function and the door control function. The mobile I.O. box is wired to the automatic door controller. We want to call in the robot from somewhere outside this room. When the call button is pressed, a wireless signal is sent to the fleet manager, which will allocate an AMR to a designated goal. Here, there is an automatic door between where the AMR is now and the goal. Once the AMR comes near the door, the mobile I.O. box will receive a signal from the fleet manager and open the door. If you are using just one AMR, the mobile I.O. box can communicate directly with the AMR without using the fleet manager. Because the mobile I.O. box has six outputs, in conjunction with controlling the door, it can be programmed to control other devices. In this use case, we used the mobile I.O. box to turn on a light when the AMR reaches the goal. This concludes the mobile I.O. box tutorial. The mobile I.O. box will enable you to easily set up an AMR application where you can call a mobile robot to pick up or drop off loads. It can be used to automatically open doors, or control other industrial devices that are necessary for your AMR operation. We hope Omron's AMRs will be able to help with your flexible autonomous material handling needs. For more detailed instructions, specifications, and important safety information, please refer to the Mobile IO Box User's Manual.